Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin had to be resuscitated a second time after going into cardiac arrest during the Monday night football game against the Cincinnati Bengals. This according to his uncle Dorian Glenn, who told CNN that his nephew probably wouldn't be alive if it weren't for medical personnel. Well, his heart had went out, so um, they had to resuscitate him twice. They resuscitated him on the field before they brought him to the hospital, and then they resuscitated him a second time when he got to the hospital. So um, I just want to show my gratitude for the medical uh, staff that were on hand, because if not for them, my nephew probably wouldn't even be here. Glenn also shared that Hamlin is still sedated. They just want him to have a better chance of uh, recovering better. So they felt that if he's sedated, his body can heal a lot faster um, than if he was, if he was um, woke and um, possibly cause other complications. So they, they got him sedated right now. Glenn also told the outlet that his nephew is flipped over on his stomach to help with blood to his lungs. And he added that the next step is to get Hamlin to breathe on his own. The 24 year old safety suffered his injury early in the first quarter of the game. Medical personnel administered CPR to Hamlin and appeared to give him oxygen before an ambulance took him away. Tuesday morning, the Bills tweeted that Hamlin had suffered a cardiac arrest. While speaking with CNN, Glenn recalled watching the incident with Hamlin's young a brother in Pittsburgh. I'm not a crier, but like I, I never crashed so hard in my life, man. Just just to know like like my nephew basically died on the field and they brought him back to life. I mean that's just heartbreaking. And to see all those grown men crying and all the emotion, man, it just it, it, it really was a gut punch, man. And I would have been crying no matter who it was, but for it to be my nephew, it just it had that much more impact on me, man. And I'm just glad he's still alive and able to fight um, and trying to get better and recover.